Today class, I am recording this lecture video to discuss the first lesson that we are going to tackle for the uh, part of our coverage for the final examination, Unit 5, in which we are going to be discussing what are the, the different speech styles. So firstly, what are speech styles? Now, in this particular lesson, we are going to target no, uh, the goal or the competency of being able to identify the various speech styles. Hence, the objectives that follow, identify the various speech styles and identify the important factors that determine a speech style. So here's an essential question that I would like you to anchor our discussion with as we go along with the lesson. Firstly, how do we vary our speech style from one situation to another? All right. So make sure that as we go along with our discussion and as you go along with your study, you are able to answer this very essential question. Now, how do we vary our speech style from one situation to another? Now, in this particular regard, let's review our uh, past lesson. In your own, I would like you to create or to think about when, where, and why, and with who do we engage in intrapersonal communication. The same question goes to how and when do we engage in interpersonal communication and with that the engagement in public communication so we have discussed and tackled about these three components uh, before so we are not going to dwell on them anymore now let's talk about what are speech styles speech style is a particular style of speaking when a person interacts with others hence this indicates the level of formality with which a person speaks and when we talk about formality, it is not just plainly referring to formal baka, may may muhang postura, etc., etc. Formality here refers to the type of discipline or the type of causality that you're going to embrace as you have a, a discussion with a particular uh, audience or particular person that you speak to. Hence, Dutch linguist Martin Jews, author of the books Five Clocks, identified five types of speech style which is or which includes intimate casual consultative formal and frozen now these speech styles are also called language registers what are these there are different factors in considering how to choose a particular speech style first we need to consider our audience who are you speaking with what is your relationship with him her or them examples you're talking to your classmates, to your friends, to your mother, to the priest, or to the principal. These are factors all involved with your audience. Kinsa man ang imuhang ka-istorya? Kinsa man ang relationship sa iyaha or sa ilaha? Okay? Another is the topic. Hence, begs to answer the question, what is the subject of the conversation or the communication situation? Or is it a serious topic or a light-hearted topic? Kinsa man ang topic ninyo all about? that it refers or that requires a particular form of or a particular level of formality or discipline now here are some examples of subject of the conversation and the communication situations that may play a significant role in that particular exchange for example young science fiction stories so partly of the or part of the communication situation is to write workshop participants Planned articles and editorials. You have editors and journalists of a publication. So, manay mo mga makaistorya. Modern day existentialism. So, there will be discussions between philosophers. A favorite musicians, there will be friendly conversations with people that you have uh, a liking, a similar liking to when it comes to music. So, those are different subjects of conversations and possible communication situations that may arise. Next, factor that we need to consider is purpose purpose answers the question what is the objective of the communication and what do you and the other participants in the conversation aim to achieve example subjects of the conversation may include science fiction or stories communication situations may involve writing workshop participants hence the objective of this communication may be as follows to analyze the elements and themes of science fiction stories. Another subject of the conversation is to our planned articles and editorials. Therefore, the communication situation is that you are going to talk 
um, uh, talk to editors and journalists of publication. Hence, the objective there is to be able to plan the contents of the next issue of a newspaper or magazine. Another modern-day existentialism, therefore, there will be discussions between philosophers. What's the objective there? It could be to discuss the prevalence of existentialism among the youth of the day. Another favorite musicians. It could be a friendly conversation with a friend or two. What could be the objective there? To share musical opinions with people you are comfortable with. Okay, So these are different examples, no? of subjects of the conversation, the possible you know, communication situations and the objectives of the communication, hence highlighting these factors, the audience, the topic, and the purpose of your communication. Now, with that being said, we also put into consideration the location. But tayan sab nato, kung asa nato siya paghihibong, where is the communication being held and what is the environment like? So, for example, classroom setting, Workplace such as in a publishing house, philosophical forums, or casual conversations at the cafeteria. So all of these class would help you understand now the different speech styles now, that you are going to use. Now with these factors considered, you are now going to determine what type of speech style are you going to um, incorporate. Is it going to be intimate? Casual na ba Consultative? Formal ba siya? Or frozen? So with these speech styles, you are able to consider the different factors that you are going to uh, that you're going to uh, consider or that you're going to base you know, in choosing the speech style that you're going to uh, refer to. Say for example, audience in historia, and topic in your historia, right? Or say purpose in your historia, is it just for fun? For leisure, for consultations, or for forums to gain and to, to be immersed and to be exposed in new knowledge, or the location, as some of the history of the classroom, 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 anything under the heat of the sun. Then again, it is a place of worship. So you need to consider that. Kung mag-isip mo kang purpose, when your purpose is mag-meeting for a particular activity in school, hindi ka pwede mag-yaga-yaga. Kasi nga, it doesn't go well with your purpose or with the objective while you are having that communication. And the topic, if ang inyong hisgutanan is family problem, hindi ka pwede mag-topic niya on politics. Especially if it has no involvement or no relation to what you are talking about. And most importantly, your audience. Kinsa man ang imuhang ka-istorya? Kinsa man ang imuhang ka, ka labikit? Who are you exchanging thoughts with? Right? It's very important to know who your audiences are. Kaya mas kipag mo yun ka that your, your teacher is very casual with you, very friendly, you also need to understand that the mood might be changing. Wala ba sa mood? Formal ba? Seryoso ba ang mood sa teacher na nag-istorya sa imuha? Etc. Etc. So you need to be very cautious as you need to be very responsible in determining how no, you are able to establish the right amount or the right speech style in a particular incident or in a particular situation. Now, with that being said, this is only the introduction of our lesson. What I want you to do now is you are going to fill in the missing parts of the table with your own experience. What are the subject of the conversation, the possible communication situation, and the objective of the communication when you are going to be talking inside a classroom setting or in a workplace. Right? So you just need to fill in this one. No need for you to write the table, just simply write the answers. Number one, number two, number three, four, five, six, so on and so forth. Okay? So... With that, I want you to write this one in your notebook and I will check this output in our notebook. And I will, and I will check this uh, activity by Monday of next week. Thank you very much for watching this lecture video and for doing the task. And I would like to leave everybody with this particular question. Essential question to end the discussion. Last.
How does learning to discern the audience, topic, purpose, and location of the communication situation help you learn better your skills as a communicator? So, what was about Usamay benefit anak sa ini? Okay, I also want you to write your answer in your notebook. So, dalawa yung aking hihingin activity that you are going to do today inside our classroom. Okay, so thank you very much for listening. Goodbye, everyone.